Hello, welcome to House of Bridge. This is another part of the tutorial on how to direct tournaments on Hob. Today I'm going to show you how to handle score adjustments. Uh, let's get a quick overview of where we are in the tournament. This is uh, the tournament administration panel. We can see that the time is running short and the two tables finished, but one of the tables is still playing. Now we could click the next round now and the result would be adjusted on this um, table, on this last board, but let's first see if we can um, somehow understand what's happening. So first of all, we can see that bot 4 is offline. This is also indicated here in the online player's summary. So we already have a strong suspicion that this is the reason that this is the reason that um, this table, this board is still not finished. By the way, we have just heard an announcement that the time has run out. Let's, for, let's visit the table by, by clicking this icon. Another tab will open. So this is the table and as suspected we can see that bot 4 should play now, but they count because they are offline. So, well, we can't really hope and we don't want to wait for bot 4 to return this round. It's not necessary, so let's just close this tab. We cannot do anything about the score from this page. And let's go to the next round and see what happens. So first of all, the system will notice that not tables have finished playing and will ask us if we are sure. So this time, yes, we are sure. The next round is going to commence, but we of course know that something is wrong, right? So we need to adjust the score from board number nine. And uh, we can either remember about that and just go to um, a travel lines for one of the pairs, or we could wait until one of the players realizes that they have an average results, which is not correct. So I will simulate this situation right now and uh, I will use another screen to make a director call. Please adjust board number nine. Okay, so we can see that director call arrived. Bot three said, please adjust board number nine. So, well, this uh, generically says board number 10 because the next round already started but we know for a fact and plus we know from the description that the boarding problematic board is board number nine so let me take this call and um, i will now go to results or to travel uh, traveler lines for bot three bot four or and i'm going to do it right now by clicking this table icon in the middle and see how another uh, tab was opened. And on the left we can see all the travel lines and in particular our board number nine. So f you see that there is a little icon ADJ, so adjustment, and that the number of imps is zero. And this is, of course, not really as expected because, um, well, the, the score was, th the, the contract was three spades redoubled, so it can hardly be zero imps. So let's look at on the right and see what we can do about that board. Uh, let me turn on the computer analysis. And we can see that well, we can also see from this uh, table in the top right hand corner that three spade will make. So I will now um, fast forward trick by trick 
to the situation that was there when we hit next round and see this was exactly the position we observed a couple of minutes ago so eight of spades has been played by bot eight and this icon indicates that it's going to be plus two so whatever well but for uh, they all well the play is determined basically so it's not a very interesting example but uh, with all certainty we can now adjust the score and say that it the contracts result that the result uh, was three spades redoubled plus two just as our engine indicates so we hit adjust score and use adjust contract result three spades redoubled declare e lead um, eight of diamonds already indicated and let's set the number of tricks to 11 adjust and you can see that from the perspective of bot 3 bot 4 the result is now minus 17 which seems a bit more rational we can go to other results to see all lines for this uh, for this board again it's not very interesting because we only have three tables one of them uh, is a pose so that's one way of adjusting the score um, another is um, for uh, for other cases when it's not really easy to um, uh, to understand what should have happened in a given in a given board so if that's the case if we are not sure what to do how to bring justice we may choose as a tournament director to use uh, a split score approach so let's say that in our example we are going to award ns with three imps and um, west east with eight imps for whatever reasons it, it doesn't make much sense of course but i just want to show you that this is technically possible right and because this was a manual adjustment the result in another um, board uh, has been automatically corrected uh, since it was the only result then the result was zero zero mm, as expected so we may now close this page going back to tournament administration panel close the call and if we want to we may now inform uh, both pairs um, of the adjustments that took place there there are no automatic notifications at this stage in hub so it's up to you whether you choose to do it or not so that's it for now thank you and hope to see you on hub